Hi there, Sagittarius. Thank you for joining me for your monthly forecast for June. This month begins with a big emphasis on the most competitive but also relating parts of your scope. The competition comes in the guise of Mars, and Mars is going to be on the front foot for you for the whole of this month. This is great if you work in a fast-moving environment and you need to see off rivals, be on your toes, or you enjoy sport, or you just like to go on the beach and have a rather competitive game of beach tennis. It doesn't really matter how it pans out. Mars can make you a bit feistier in the way you interact with other people. But it does, from the 5th to the 10th, forge a rather tricky angle to Neptune. And when it comes to your love life, don't necessarily react too quickly to information that you receive, especially if it's second or third hand, because it may not be right. Someone could be stirring gossip and you need to be smart enough not to get too caught up in this. However, if the politics of your relationship lay more between you and your partner, the skill is going to be to tease out the facts of a situation, but also be honest about how you truly feel. Neptune can make that difficult. It's a very confusing influence at times, and for you it continues in your sector of emotions, so particularly confusing. So, it is very important to be ultra clear in where you're coming from and demand that from others. But there are other planets, especially the Sun, which can be very good for you relating wise in the early parts of this month. But Mercury, the planet of talk and thought, is actually in a deeper, more perceptive part of your horoscope, much more to do with analysing what people really mean rather than getting caught up so much in the process of relating. And then Venus moves into this area too on the 3rd. Great for long-term finances and business interests. Someone could be very generous to you at this time. And this can be a pattern that's going to be going on for some months to come. But I'll tell you more about that in a moment. Venus in this area can certainly ramp up the passion factor. And if you are someone who's looking for an intense interaction, a summer fling, or well, the first two weeks of this month, can certainly be a time when your pulse races. Unfortunately, if you're caught up in more practical issues, perhaps to do with finances or agreements or deals, there could be quite a lot of horse trading to be done in the first couple of weeks. And it's going to be important to know what you feel is a fair value for your services, possessions you have. Don't be too unyielding, however. If you're too stubborn, this could lead to some real problems and you may find yourself in an intractable situation which is hard to resolve. But in your love life, you may find that some power games creep into things in week two. Just be conscious of it, whether it's your own or those you encounter from someone else. On the 21st, however, the sun does move, and it moves into an area which is very much to do with compulsions, ends and beginnings. And you might be making a few snap judgments in the last part of this month. There is also a full moon on the 23rd, and this tangles with Saturn. Now, it's possible this full moon could actually be very good for you. Saturn is in a part of your horoscope that's to do with endings, reflections. It's going to be here for the next couple of years, more psychological issues. And you could learn a lot if you give yourself permission to be a bit more in touch with this side of your nature. Sagittarian energy in general is very progressive, so you're much more focused on the future. And the past can sometimes bore you. You don't always want to pick over the trivia, unless, of course, it's from a more historical viewpoint, and then you have a, a fantastic appetite for this kind of stuff. But if it's more personal, you can actually be a little bit restrained in wanting to get in touch with your deeper needs and emotions, but you're being encouraged to do so by this particular full moon. Now, Jupiter, your ruler, moves on the 26th. It moves out of your sector of relating, where it's been for the last year, and it moves into the area which is governing long-term finances and business, shared assets too. And if you really put the hard work in, you could do marvellously well over the next 12 months, but it is about that grit and determination as much as it is just in hoping that you're going to buy a ticket and have some unplanned and rather random good fortune. That's not out to the question, I must stress, but you're going to increase your odds if you really try to make the most of your talents. Now, Venus, the planet of love, does move into your sister fire sign of Leo on the 28th. An opportunity, I think, 
to get to the bottom of a few issues if someone is seeming to be a little bit distant or evasive, but it also can see you much more intrigued with travel, holidaying, or people from different cultures, and this may be borne out too in your love life. But the Sun and Pluto also go face to face in the last few days of this month, and once more you could find yourself having to make a stand for the things you believe in, and fending off someone's unfair attitude, at least as it seems to you. Just be conscious that this could be a month when you need to protect your resources, but as I say, don't be too intransigent. A little bit of flexibility can create a compromise which can work well for everyone. Thank you for joining me. Good luck and goodbye for now.